welcome back to Keto Mix Chick. I'm Stephanie and today is January 15th, 2022, day 15 of the BBB&E Challenge. We are halfway there because I plan on doing the challenge all the way through the 31st of January. So today would be a halfway point. Today I want to talk about a few things. I want to talk about what I got in the mail today. I want to talk about the importance of meal planning and what I had to eat today. So let's get started. First, let's see what I got in the mail today. Nookie! Isn't it so cute? I love it. My mug came from Vistaprint today with my little Keto Mix Chick logo on it. And I am so happy with it. At least if my YouTube channel never blows up, at least I have the mug to remember I tried. It is so cute. So that came in the mail today. On to planning. Now, we know if you've been watching, you know if you've been watching my videos that my saying is, if you fail to plan, you plan to fail. Planning is really important important and meal prep can be an important part of planning so i want to introduce you to this book here easy keto meal prep by aaron day this is a great book to have for planning it has eight weekly meal plans in there and over 60 low carb recipes so even if you don't use it for the planning aspect, you can still use it for the recipes. And they're really good and tasty. Also, I will be including the link to this book so that you can try it out for yourself below in the description box. Meal planning is essential because when you don't have an idea about what you're going to eat, that is when you make the bad decisions. So you really want to, to utilize planning, utilize wonderful books like this Easy Keto Meal Prep to plan ahead and be prepared. So you can see my book got ripped up by Gracie and Bella, but this is a really good book. Planning is so crucial to success. Now, on to what I had to eat today. So, for breakfast or to start my day, I had some keto chow fasting drops in a bottle of water. Now, I sometimes have element tea or I sometimes do the keto chow. Element tea is more salty. The keto chow is less salty, more subtle. It tastes like a regular bottle of water, maybe with the slight change to it but not too much so that's why you know if i want to break from the saltiness i'll do these drops from keto chow i'll have the link for these drops below as well then i had coffee from starbucks now i know earlier in a previous video i said i wasn't going to do that again because i had some regular black coffee and i said it tasted like ground coffee beans eating them straight but I decided to try again this time I tried the nitro cold brew, cold brew from Starbucks and it was way better tasting than the regular hot black coffee so I may have that again at some point in time because it did taste more subtle then for breakfast I had the four boiled eggs the three strips of bacon then for lunch I had the two beef patties on some of the egg white bread with some mustard. And for dinner, I had a ribeye steak and a carbonated water. So if you want to see what I'm having tomorrow, subscribe, like, and leave comments below. And I'll see you tomorrow.